his home. This is a charity appeal on behalf of Jenny. She's in her late 30s and she looks normal. But Jenny doesn't have a boyfriend. Her friends worry about her affliction and hope she'll find a way to overcome this embarrassing social problem. But maybe she is beyond help. To be honest, I've lost a lot of friends over it. And the ones I've still got don't think I'm normal. I mean, they've organised a fun run and a sponsored swim. I mean, they're raising money for me to join a dating agency in America. They have agencies in Britain, but in America there's just loads more people and some of them are really desperate. I think Americans really know how to treat failure. I mean, they've got the best facilities in the world. I've heard they run a boot camp for the people who are single and think they're happy. <laughs> oh, they make you run around a training ground and throw a bucket of water at you until you realise that you're actually miserable and you're stopping your parents having any hope of grandchildren. Jenny knows she's got to make a choice. She can be single, no ties, fancy free, or be in a couple and do coupley things like rowing and going to Ikea. We can rehabilitate Jenny and we can show her that there is hope and she doesn't have to just go out and give up and get a cat. Her friend Julie talks to us. I told her straight. I said, look, you're pushing 40. You've either got to torn up your stomach muscles and bag a 27-year-old who's looking for someone older with a good salary and an opportunity to get on the property ladder. Or if you think you can handle an enlarged prostate and don't mind a bit of baggage, hang around children's theatres on Sunday afternoon and get a divorcee who's grateful for a warm body. The lads down the football club have been really supportive. They're on the marathon, dressed in T-shirts with their face on them. They said, genuine offers only, no players, no time wasters. It was touching. If you think you could offer Jenny a good home, call us now. She gets along with most people, she's good with dogs, but has limited experience with children. This plea was on behalf of the Single Woman's Trust. We never put a healthy woman down. <laughs> 